When someone collapses from sudden cardiac arrest, death, obviously, it could be just moments away. There is a portable device, though, that is designed to assist in survival. One Tuscaloosa woman knows why it is absolutely necessary that automated external defibrillators, AEDs for short, are readily available. She was in high school when the unexpected happened. ABC 3340's Linda Mays has her story. 17-year-old Amanda Trevathan didn't know she wouldn't make it to her junior prom. On the day before the prom, she recalls not feeling well while in class. And I started feeling really lightheaded and dizzy, and I looked up at the clock, and I started seeing sunspots, like little spots like I was about to pass out. Amanda did collapse. I knew we had a very serious situation and, and no heartbeat. Yeah. A direct call sent then-principal Robert Levette running to help. And I grabbed a uh, defibrillator, reported to the room. It was sudden cardiac arrest. Amanda's heart stopped. As it turns out, I had a congenital heart problem. Um, I had a slight arrhythmia, which is an irregular heartbeat and it caused me to go into ventricular fibrillation, which is basically an electrical malfunction in your heart, which caused me to go into sudden cardiac arrest. Thank goodness Pelham High School was equipped with an AED, or Automated External Defibrillator. This computerized medical device only delivers a shock when an irregular heart rhythm is detected. Uh -oh. This was provided by the Lord Wedgwood Charity that aims to help make more AEDs readily available. If I open it up, Here's what will happen. Stay calm. Follow these instructions. Make sure 911 is called now. Sun cardiac arrest uh, strikes everyone, all ages, and uh, has no barrier. With the guidance of an AED and the assistance of a school coach, Levette helped save Amanda's life. We cannot underestimate the value of AEDs in schools, and uh, we're so fortunate that we had purchased this one uh, just a few weeks prior to that. Recently, Lavette secured additional AEDs for Pelham's elementary schools. We reached out to Andrew Sports Medicine, who then in turn got us in touch with the Wedgwood and Floyd Larkin, and uh, they were able to meet that need and give us two defibrillators. But I remember looking back this way because I'm watching for the paramedics through that doorway. Just months before Amanda's emergency, it's quite ironic that one of her class lessons called for her opinion about defibrillators in schools. Having defibrillators in high schools, it's, I wouldn't think it would be very effective. So that was my opinion. And little did I know I'd be like eating my words. Now a heart health advocate, Amanda Trevathan Cox spreads the word that AEDs can save lives. A lot of students actually succumb to sudden cardiac arrest while they're in school or at some kind of sporting event. And half the time they don't survive because there was not the proper equipment there to handle it. It makes you want to check where you go and see if there's one in the area. Absolutely. We thank Amanda for sharing her story, which has been now for 12 years. She has an implanted defibrillator ever since recovering. Yes, and another good thing about AEDs is that you need no formal training. It guides you through the whole process, as you could hear there. And boy, Amanda's a prime example of this. It doesn't have to be just an athlete that this could happen to. No, no. you have to remember as well that uh, heart disease is a leading cause of death in the U.S., mm -hmm. and Amanda's heart problem was a surprise to her family. There was no family history. If you have heart disease, you're at risk or it can be a healthy heart that's somehow knocked out of sync. And right. the sooner that a bystander can get that defibrillator to that person, the better. It increases the chances of survival. Wow. Excellent story. Thank you so much.